Nope. Now, as an engineer, I marvel at production engineering. And by that, I mean the clever ways that engineers figure out how to mass produce an object. Some people talk of engineering as applied science, but I dislike that. It implies that first a scientist discovers something, then with drudgery an engineer just builds it, as if that process were simple. Instead, engineers have a method of thinking all their own. They aren't solving different scientific problems, but instead engaging in the art of design. An enormously rich and more interesting thing than applied science. I'm looking for an older type of golf ball, one that shows just how creative engineers can be. There, that's not applied science, that's engineering. This golf ball had to be designed and manufactured. For example, the liquid here had to be placed in the center of the ball. How are you going to do that? Engineers devised two ingenious ways to do that. One, just freeze the liquid in the shape of a ball, wrap this um, elastic twine around it, or the second way, is to take this thermoplastic coating, insert a coax needle that removes the air and injects liquid at the same time. Neither of these approaches is uh, a direct outgrowth of science. I mean, they both use scientific facts and figures, but they highlight what engineering knowledge is. It's about doing something. It's about building something. It's about design. And design means that you take abstract theories and concrete things and you change the world. Hello? Yeah, hi. Alan? Uh-huh. Yeah, I have your golf clubs. Uh-huh. Uh, well, you know, oddly enough, um, there were no balls in there. Um, well, I'll check. Hang on. Nope, none. No balls at all. Uh-huh. All right, well, I'll drop them by tonight. Okay, bye.